Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to 127 Reacts. We react to trailers every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, I'm Jeff, and I'm joined by these guys. He's eating wings, and it's making me hungry. No, I'm about to just abandon this podcast and go grub right now. Lemon pepper wings, baby. <laughs> and today we're talking about the oh. crowded room. The crowded room. The crowded room. A uh, uh, an Apple TV short movie original series series. It's a series. Uh, I just made that up. <laughs> Oh, so we're really jazzed about. It. Let me. Well, let me look it up. Actually, Jeff, you're muted. Yeah, you're muted. Can't hear you. Your mic is on. Oh yeah, it's a series. But I can't hear you. I don't know the volume. We're just gonna take this over. Jeff's not in charge anymore. You can't stop. Oh us. man, thank God we can't listen to that guy talk no more. Man, it's so quiet and peaceful now. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you hear man. me? You hear me now? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What the hell happened? Anyways, this is a new film from Tom Holland. It apparently made him pull up 2007 Britney and get crazy and, you know, drink a bunch of alcohol. He had to go to therapy. So, um, you know what? Well, let's check it out. Let's see if it really is uh, warranting such depressive feelings or if uh, Tom Holland's just overreacting. Let's, uh, let's find out. <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeff. <laughs> All right, uh, anybody got thoughts on this thing? Or uh, I'm just going to go right into the trailer. Dive in. I don't even know he was depressed after this. But um, we're just talking about him becoming an alcoholic. Huh? <laughs> I'm, hit, I'm hitting play. Daddy, do you know why you're here? Oh, oh. oh hell yeah, she's in this. Sometimes I think that night marked me. Everything that came afterwards. Couldn't be a coincidence, could it? I brought in a kid last night. There might be something that interests you. Danny, you don't really seem like a dangerous person. Can you tell me how you ended up here? Loser. Hey, I'm gonna kick your little wiry ass. We still. Go. Hey, you wanna come in? Clean yourself up. You are safe now. It never struck you as strange that this man just showed up to save you. Just figured I was lucky. Have you ever been lucky? No. There's glass everywhere. Signs of a struggle. Blood on the floor. What about the girl? No sign of her either. I'm thinking that he offed her. What did you do? This wasn't a random shooting. He's hiding something. What happened in that house? Where did they all go? I have these blank spots. They're not the only people close to you to disappear, are they? Do you think these hey, are all wait. victims? Hey, Fiona? Yeah. Oh, now I gotta watch how all this. of this can seem like it was you. Wait, do you think that I'm the one pulling the strings? What if I said I do? I'm not! Danny, I'm oh. trying to help you. I didn't shoot anybody. His best interest is to plead guilty. They're all in this together. If I'm right, Danny may be innocent. What are you not telling me? What are you not telling yourself? Mm. And Peter Parker's well, not having good luck. I feel like uh, everyone that has that haircut, they just get bullied all the time in films. Because he got that Joaquin Phoenix Joker haircut going on. Anyways. Is it a haircut I don't know or just what... have they not showered? No, it's definitely all. Oh, that doesn't help, but I think it's just the, the haircuts, the 
It's a defining look. So do you think he wouldn't have shot anybody if he got a haircut? I think so, honestly. Because, <laughs> dude, I haven't gotten a haircut in, like, I don't know, fucking over six months now. I feel like... I feel dangerous, I know. You know. <laughs> Does he, like, shoot me something? Like, he's, like, with the gun, and the barber behind him's like, let me give you a fade real quick. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. So, <laughs> is yeah. that America's Let's problem? Yeah, not haircut. enough fucking haircuts. Haircuts yeah. are expensive these days. That's why I stopped going to the barber. It's like I'm 40 saying. bucks to get my hair cut. And now I just have M do it in the shower. Bucks. Yeah, dude. What barber are you going to? Don't worry about it. I'm not going there anymore. <laughs> now I get 40 it for, bucks for a haircut. Now dude. I get it for free from my wife. Yeah, yeah rigs, dude. Man, you know what? That's, that's what I need. Haircuts. Yeah. Haircuts. Okay. A wife <laughs> or a haircut? Uh, a wife. Oh. So I can get a haircut. Yeah, this story, I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, I'm not really sure, like, how exactly this might have fucked him up, you know, behind the scenes filming this thing. Because, I mean, it, it didn't look like, you know, anything too crazy, especially from other stuff, like other actors and characters I've seen before. I wasn't there. I can't speak for Tom Holland. I'll give this. I'll what? give this a. I'll you give this a seven. It didn't look bad. I'm not saying it. I'll give it a seven. Okay, I'll go next there. Okay. Kinda wanna, kinda wanna. Yeah, I'm gonna give that like a six point five. I would have said a seven point five, but it brings it down a whole point because it's on Apple TV, and I'm not gonna get Apple TV to watch this. Sorry, it's just the way the world works. The performance looked good. I was interested in what the story was. Kind of, kind of want to know what's going on. Looks kind of crazy. In terms of the the Tom Holland thing, I mean, like he played a pretty fucked up character in The Devil All the Time. If you guys never saw that movie, that the movie's fucking fantastic. It's on Netflix. It 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 was. It reminded me how good movies can be. It is. It was. It was so good. And then I know he did a, f- a really fucked up. One, another one for Apple TV. I don't remember what it was called. And then doing this one, I can see how playing a string of uh, pretty intense roles like that could uh, spiral him to where he was. You know, not just this role by itself. So, hope he gets better. You know, can we I, fact I, check this because I like Tom Holland. <laughs> what did he really? Is he really going through an episode? Yeah, he came out and he said. He said he can't. He said he's he's uh, been sober. He's been going through therapy and stuff like that because he and he addressed that he was getting like pretty crazy with the alcohol or something like that. Anyways, that doesn't factor into the trailer. I just wanted to address that because it's a big topic right now. But no, it looked good. The movie looked great. If 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 it appears anywhere else other than Apple TV, I'll check it out. If you know it ends up on F movies, perhaps I will take a look. Sponsors, right there. Sponsors. F movies. Dot T-O. Uh, so yeah, whatever I, I said. 6.5. Okay, so he did... Uh, this role did fuck him up. It was he this... Couldn't se- he couldn't separate himself from the character. And... Yeah, he was seeing personal struggles from the character in his own life, and then it was fucking him up, and then he wanted to shave his head to get rid of that character, like metaphorically out of his... Like he felt like he had to shave his head in order to cleanse himself of it. But it was, he was seen, I guess, like, yeah, like Dominic said himself in at times. Some ass. He was just, it was a nine month journey, they said, of him embodying this character. And, mm. I mean, you know. I guess we're not getting a second season. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it a show? Is it a show or is it a movie? Did we find that out it's yet? It's a show. It's, it's a show. An episode it, show. It is a show. Okay. We found that out when you were muted. Oh yeah, he actually actually he went insane because he kept seeing um, Timothy Chalamet kiss and die in Dune Two. Oh, All right, I'm gonna oh go man! Next. All right, yeah, yeah, go. I mean, I love Tom Holland, and that's just me saying that. From I've only seen him in Spider Man and one other movie, that Pixar film. Onward. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Spies in Disguise? I guess that too. No, I saw him in Uncharted. <laughs> oh, your favorite live-action video game movie. Oh, right? God. Yeah. Um, 
right, yeah, I, I just love Tom Holland. I, I love the energy he brings on the screen. I did hear that that one Netflix movie. Um, yeah, Adam told me like that movie was insane. So I think like at this point, everyone knows and it's pretty proven that he's a good actor. You know, he's not just a he's not just an MCU actor at this point. He he has he has the chops. He's got range, yeah. I don't want to get controversial and name the MCU actors right now that are surviving off the MCU, but <clears throat> we'll just we'll just keep it at the Chris Evans. <clears throat> and um, pretty much, you know, I, I think I think this is gonna be good. It looks like it's gonna be good. It piqued my interest at times, but I only have Apple TV for one thing, and that's Ted Lasso. And Ted Lasso, I don't know if the season's over already, but. So I'm not I'm not gonna use Apple TV for anything else. I tried giving it a chance. I tried like looking up different things on there, and man, there's nothing for me on there. That's just be a me thing as well too, because like I don't use Netflix at all anymore. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks great. It has a uh, what's her name Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried, yeah, it has her, and it has um I forgot the actress's name from Shameless. She plays Fiona. I saw a little little clip of her in there. We'll see how that goes, but it deserves a pretty good score. But me personally, I'm gonna give it like a seven point five. Yeah, as a trailer and as like a piece of media, it definitely deserves at least like an eight point five. But it's like Jeff said, I'm docking a point off for Apple TV. Okay, uh, Dominic, you need, you need to go still, right? Yes. I also adore. No, doesn't thank you guys. That was it for the video. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go for it. Wow. I'll mute myself. Just choke on your wings already. Uh, I also adore Tom Holland. I wish I could. I wish I had watched more of his other works, but uh, this does actually look interesting. I would probably watch like the the first episode and see how I feel about it decide whether or not uh, I want to resume but like Alejandro I only have Apple TV for Ted Lasso so once that finishes in a couple of weeks uh, I'll probably cancel my membership but if they do one of those like free trial things like I'll try to see the first episode I think it looks interesting but the it does the show does pique my interest uh, I don't know if he, if he did it or not or who else did it I will probably give this a seven and a half well all right, so with Dom's score of Remy's, we're currently sitting at two points. Oh I'm just kidding. <laughs> just attack Dominic, I guess. Same as every day. Oh, no. Our score is uh, 7.13. What? 7.13. I rounded it up for Jeff already. Hmm. Okay, well, you guys heard it here. The crowded room gets a 7.13 here from us. Comment down below what, what you thought of that. Like and subscribe. Is your room crowded? Yeah, is your room crowded? Do you need to pick up? Do you need to clean it? We're not doing it for you. Be an adult. Yeah, clean it up. Clean it up, piece of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, like and subscribe, probably not after that comment, but uh, do it anyways, just for us, please. Uh, hit the bell notification so when you get notified when we talk about more Tom Holland films or films of other things that you might like. And um, there's another video somewhere. Get your hair cut so you don't shoot people. Get your hair cuts. <laughs> and you know what? While you're at it, uh, go check out uh, The Devil All the Time on Netflix. That's a really good film if you don't want to get Apple TV and you have Netflix. Netflix, uh, go check that out. It's highly recommended by me. That might not mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me. So go check it out. And uh, with that, you know, we'll see you next time when I've cut my hair and all my aggressive thoughts have gone away. Thank you. <laughs>